Welcome to our tutorial on how to export references from the OhioLINK EBSCO databases into Academic Writer. Your professor may recommend that you use Academic Writer to create your research paper, or you may never have used APA style before and need help with it. You will want to learn how to export a journal article reference from one of the EBSCO databases into Academic Writer to save you typing it in from scratch. Let's start accessing Academic Writer by clicking on this box on the library's homepage. If you are doing this from off campus, you will be asked to authenticate, meaning to prove you are a registered DC student and not a hacker trying to use Academic Writer without paying. Your tuition dollars give you access. When you try to click on Academic Writer from off campus, a box will come up asking you for your name and library card number. I can't show you that here because I'm recording this from a computer on the campus network. The library card number it will ask you for is on your DC ID card, your student number with 80 in front of it. Once you are authenticated, you'll be taken to the Academic Writer landing page, which looks like this. If you don't already have an account with Academic Writer, there will be an option to create an account once you click Welcome and log in. I'll use my own login now. Let's click on Add References. Now I'm going to open a window where I already did a search in one of the EBSCO databases. Many of the Ohio Link databases are hosted by the vendor called EBSCO. You can tell them because they display this logo in the upper left corner. An EBSCO host appears in the URL. Let's say you want to use this article on ankle injuries in volleyball in your research paper. To begin exporting the reference for the article to Academic Writer, we'll click on the article title to display the full article information. Here you can see an abstract describing what the article is about, plus the full citation. To begin the export process, click here on the right where it says Export. When the gray box comes up, don't change the settings and click on this Save button. You can choose where to save it to on your device. I use the desktop, but you may prefer another drive. The software will call the file Delivery unless you change it. I'll minimize the window so you can see it on my desktop. Now I'll bring the window back up and click on the Academic Writer tab. Now we click on this Import tab. For Choose RIS File Origin, select EBSCOhost. Notice it says here no file chosen, so what we'll do is choose file, select the delivery file we saved, open, and now it says delivery.ris, and we'll submit. We'll click here to view the imported record, and here's the reference we just imported. However, if the original article reference in the database was not in APA format, you may have to edit this reference. For example, the author's names have the first name spelled out, rather than the approved APA style of using initials only. To fix this, we'll click on the little pencil icon to edit. The author's names have been placed in this box on the right. We'll click on Brummett, and that places his name into this box where we can edit. We'll put his first name initial J in this box, and remove the comma Jason from this box. Then when we click Update, the name will be saved in the correct format. You would then do the same with the other three authors. 
Another thing that needs changed is that APA has rules about capitalization and title. APA wants lowercase instead of all capitals in titles of articles, though the first word and any proper names in the title should be capitalized. If we click here on Format in Sentence Case, the software will make the changes for us. This reminder box will pop up to tell you about having to capitalize proper nouns. We don't have any proper nouns in this title, so we'll just say OK. The abstract describing the article we saw earlier appears here, but it won't carry over into our reference list once we are finished editing. When you have made all your changes, then click on Update Reference. Then if we choose Go to My References, we can view our reference again to check it. As you work on your paper, you can continue adding references and using Academic Writer to format them properly. You may want to consult the slideshows under the Learn tab and then go to Quick Guides. You can use them to learn more about APA's capitalization and other rules. There is additional APA help on the library's website in the tutorials under Library Links and also in the research guide about APA. If you need more help, under Library Links, click on Staff Contact. That will bring up librarians' contact information. Please contact us if you need help. Thanks for viewing our tutorial on how to export references from the EBSCO databases into Academic Writer.